One thing about me, I just like to sit at home. Like, um, I like to not do nothing. Like, sit on the couch all day. That's what I be doing. Welcome to Houston, Texas, and the home of the Rice Owls, where we are anticipating a full house of fans who give a hoot. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what Let's get to it, man. Fuck. Houston ready to put it deep and get this game going. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the ninth. Oh, they did us bad last year. They did us bad last year, boy. Oh no. And you gotta come out under control. It means so much. We know that the fans are all talking about it, but it's just football. Coming after him. Quick strike complete. Let's see. There we go. Come on now, y'all man. Y'all know I'm about to run the ball. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Come on now. To the ground after picking up the first down. It's a really good sign if you're on offense here. You're putting it on your offensive line on third down. Critical down and distance, opening drive of the game. Oh. Let those guys fire off, get a hat on a hat. You can run the ball, pick up the first. You're around midfield. Man, I am. So long. looking pretty good here early for this offense. After losing a couple on that last play, uh, right. second and 12. Uh, one. We're a corner. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. Back to throw, it's Warner. I had to use it that one. It's complete. They bring him down, but a solid pick. Had to fucking use it that one. To pick up a first down. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. Up his triangle, he ain't throw it. Oh, quarterback, and down he goes. Fuck. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road. First drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. The Cougars offense will try to get something started with their first possession. There we go, man. Let's get a stop, man. Impact players for this game. David, what do you look for to cover six? They're about to run. Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they gotta step up and make plays on the field. Keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in good games like this. And the Cougars come to the line in the hurry up. Defense is going to have their hands full. Stand this fucking hurry up. I'll fix it, boy. The football to get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. We anticipate this one being much tighter than the last time these two met when it was a blowout, David. And here's the thing. You got an opportunity right now. You got the football early in this game to show you. This is going to be more of the same, Paul. Oh, look out. There he goes. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, so, uh, Houston. Well, this, Hello. Oh, this is so frustrating. Speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. You can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Rice has the ball back and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. Gets it out to the 25 yard line, a gain of three. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Picks up a useful five yard chunk out to the 30 yard line. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or gang tackling because if you need three or four guys to bring a guy down, <laughs> have fun with that. Unloads to the wide out. And the timing just a hair off. Yeah, I like the aggressiveness on third and short. Oh, fuck that. We're going for this shit, bro. Look that they got. 
They weren't successful, and now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do? A couple of yards short of the first down in your own territory, but they are going to go for it on fourth. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Fires okay. to the tight end. I was ready. I wasn't ready to go back to defense. Everything, boy. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play mm, the best football that's my like this. And this offense stays aggressive. And they I'm calling the for it again. You can always look back and say, third and short, I'd love for you to run it, be the more physical team. But nice job sticking up and bowing their necks for this defense. This is the absolute right call. They're going for it on fourth down. Yeah. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes a catch past the man. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. We got to put some points on the board, man. We gotta put some points on the boys, you feel me? That's the end of the quarter, and Houston has the lead. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. No passing yards is crazy. Oh, it's crazy. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Looking to throw it's Warner. Got it set up on the outside. They'll make the stop, but not before they use the screen beautifully and pick up the first down. The execution on that screen pass is one that will go into coaching plan. Nice execution. Oh, you got to hit that block. 54. Now I release. Get the ball to the running back. I got my playmaker in space. 54, you got to you gotta hit that block. You hit that block. You can show me the first down. Football evolves, guys, and players have more rights, and they capitalize on name, image, and likeness. And teams are in different conferences. Maybe the biggest thing, and the thing that keeps coaches up at night, dealing with the transfer portal, because they got to make sure that everybody in their locker room is happy. And oftentimes, you're re-recruiting your own players and trying to keep the wolves at bay. And the phone calls that are coming in from other programs. I want to get the end zone. It is not easy. Probably I want to get the end zone. Been, David, to be a head coach now with the transfer. It is, and think about players, man. If I'm not happy, if I'm not getting the run I want, like I can just leave. I can go get some, go somewhere else. I can get paid by another opportunity. So I think players always have in their, have their eyes to that portal, looking at a better destination, it makes it miserable for coaches. Here comes the Houston offense once again. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. It's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Here we go. They'll go oh, right good, back to him. good cutback. I was so I was. And he'll get hmm. it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set is able to rip off that one for a first down. It's first and ten from the 38-yard line. He's looking to throw it. I'm so. Oh. They get him down after he makes a catch. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. 
Come on, man. They finna get that first. He was, he was out of down. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. Definitely about to run that hole. The Cougars have it with a first and ten. The RPO fire complete to the left. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback and his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. Grabbed in the middle. It's, it's me, bro. Like, I'm just out here. I'm just out here. I don't, I, I don't have no scheme. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Houston will snap it in the red zone. Now the play Not break. on defense. Hit the. Working that left side oh now. Gosh, Good job. They walking us fucking down, bro. Because he got nothing after the catch. How yeah. many first downs is that, guys? On this drive alone, this defense has got to find a way to get off the field. They're playing way too many snaps. They'll throw it on first down. Snagged on the outside. It's Wilson, and he'll be run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Not a very productive play there. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at second and 13. He's looking to throw. Fires into traffic. There we go. Yes. Trying to take it yes. Back. He's at the 40. The 20. Giving him his pads. And he has taken it all the way back. Touchdown. <sighs> Oh my gosh. We needed that. No, we needed that. We needed that shit so bad. Nigga, they were walking us down, boy. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Houston offense comes onto the field. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive, throwing a pick six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. After that last completion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. This nigga is trying my users. He is trying the fuck out of my users. This offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Slant routes. They're good against man coverage, but they're good against zone coverage too. If that receiver can find the soft spot between the linebacker and the DB, you'll take that throw all day. He's gonna let Give me that. Catch the and they dialed up a shot. It's the pick. Catch the fucking pick. Oh my gosh, please catch the pick. I like the fact that this dude has no conscience. None. <laughs> Arm arrogance, right? He's going to spin the football, try to make plays. Like, listen, take the good with the bad, right? He's going to make some plays. He's going to give some away. He's trying to uh, do a little bit more of the play making as opposed to giving it to the other team. This offense looking at a third down after that last completion. He's looking to pass. Oh no. Give me that shit. Fires the pass. Intercepted. And they'll close in on him after a good return on mm -mm. the interception. Mm -mm. Not that. Not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense. What the, well, why the fuck is Dickman not in the game? Why is Dickman not in the game? He's the fastest fucking machine. He's a starter. Fuck is he not in the game? Oh, he is in the game. He's just why ain't on the field? They've got some time to work with here, Jesse. And if they get a first down, they might really get aggressive. I'd be aggressive right out of the gate. I'd be throwing for a first down. If I get it, then pedal to the metal. I'm in that two-minute mode to try to score a touchdown or get a field. 
But I do think this is a situation where you also have to understand that I have the lead going into the half. I've got the momentum, so don't do anything stupid here. Just a short pass to the tight end. Knocked down at the 44, but he got 15 on that one. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. From the 44-yard line, the offense snaps it on first down. Quarterback will audible. To the air, it's Warner. He wants to take the top off. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away down. Field. Okay, okay. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Nowhere to go. No. Look at this game, bro. This fucking game, bro. Come on, but every time I'm gonna get some momentum, bro. Oh. That's bullshit. They got the late touchdown on the board now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. Shit so frustrating though. The ball back and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. Inside a half minute to play, would they dare go for a score here? Going up top on first down. And it's Course. incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well kick the ball. ball. Right. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Last incompletion leaves them still sitting at their own 25 with second and 10. Off the play fake. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Off the play fake on first down. The throw. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. They're going to go deep. Wants to throw on second down. Lofts one high and deep. Incomplete. He took a shot on the final play of the quarter and couldn't quite find his man. He the fumbled the ball. He picked it up and ran it and fucking scored. Kevin and our halftime update. Just my motherfucking look. Environment there today, all the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And what we've witnessed is a rarity these days in our sport. These defenses are taking matters into their own hands putting points on the scoreboard and effectively controlling the narrative of this game. Points off turnovers are kind of found money. Oh, they're talking. Come on. But at some point, these offenses are going to have to make some adjustments and carry their share of the load. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Um, um, I'm not worried about the offense. It's the defense I'm worried about, really. On the move from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. 
the Houston offense ready to go back to work. And it's working. Why change it? And that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third quarter. And you just know the yeah. offensive line was telling their coordinator, put this on us. Let us continue to go out there, push these guys around. We can put this game on our back and end this thing by running the ball. And this is a manhood question for this defense. Like, as a defensive lineman, and you're pounding the rock, pounding the rock, like, I got to physically rise to this challenge. This defense has to play more inspired and more physical in the second half. At the 35, he's got more. And how much running room have they It's like, I let the computer player do what it do and get cooked. I click on to the nigga Houston going up tempo. and get fucking cooked. Hit that nigga, ball. And a good solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Lay that boom. And this option attack can lull you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just gotta play responsibility, responsibility, and you gotta get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice. Like this shit right here, dog. Defense is terrible, bro. Time, Paul, this QB is scored running this scheme offensively. Yeah, and as a defense, you got to understand when you're playing the option, it's responsibility football. I got to stop my assignment. I can't get caught in somebody else's business. You could tell this defense not really ready for this quarterback run game. They better figure it out, or it's going to be a long game. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense. They ain't even beating us pass, and they beating us running. Last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Well, on third down, they go to the running back screen. They're able to get a couple of yards, but not enough for the first. What do they do? I ain't got no hope. forced to send out the punt unit. That's usually a return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. So the first play of the drive will come from the 43. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Got a man. It's Wilson. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. I tell you, this it's slot fucking us up, bro. really does give his quarterback a nice option. Runs really good routes. He's got nice hands. We saw it on that last play. Caught behind the line. It's Williams. The Cougars get it up for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. And he'll chuck that one away and save the down. Nobody was able to get open. They'll try again oh, on second down go. after the incompletion. Looking to throw it again. Pop his ass. A soft spot in the middle. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as productive. Walking our ass down, bro. This Houston offense about to snap it on first down again. The give to the tailback. That's our first tackle for loss on the run. You know, defensively, you live by the blitz and you die by the blitz. The that middle back. dialed it up into the run play, and the linebacker able to make a nice tackle. They're about to pick on my uses. On second down, looking to throw. Oh, I knew it. Finds his man. It's Williams. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone two. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. 
Yeah. We need another fucking pick. Operating in the red zone here on second down. I'm watching that run too. Quarterback on the keeper. Good shit. Only a couple there, and now staring at third and eight. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays, but. He's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. Good shit. Yes, defense. Yes. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And he'll try this one from the left pass and 33 yards away. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And that will extend their lead even further. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Rice has the ball back and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. This is when the pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the mm -hmm. heat to answer a score. And I think being down 14, you can kind of feel that way, but dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven-point game, so Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is entirely bad. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has that's been it, done. That's it. They pick up the first down on the throwing catch. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to test the right side mm. with this one. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. On the move, it's Warner. And that's the wrong button. Off, bringing it back. He's at the 20. Touchdown, Cougar! And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. I pushed the wrong button. I thought I was pushing X. I pushed fucking circle. They have been sharp as they extend the lead. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it. Don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught. Don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split him out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense... Great job making the interception, and you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. And he takes this from inside the five. Bring in the heat. He'll go out of bounds at the 27-yard line, just couldn't quite shake free. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do, because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. you got to go out not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. Spun the wrong way. Stop, but a nice pick up there on first down leaves them in second and manageable. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the Fuck, he was open. Rally to the football, gang tackle. You're going to win this game. We're going to run the same fucking play. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. They're going to throw it again. Takes a hit as he fires. That pass not close as he got well trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They don't like these fucking passes. plays. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are down by multiple possessions they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter they'll go for it on fourth down he's got a first down and maybe a lot more 
And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play... Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. If I had told you that one of the best quarterbacks in all of college football was going to have less than 200 yards passing in this game, you might not have had that on your bingo card, but that's what's in fact happened. This defense has done an outstanding job getting pressure on him like they did right there. He makes a grab. He gets it in. Touchdown, Owls. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they're now down 31-17. So a drive there of 82 yards. And they finished the drive with a touchdown toss from the 49. I have no words. And they thought about a return, then thought better. I have They'll no words. Houston sending the offense back onto the field. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. They're definitely running the ball. They moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. We They're going to keep running the ball though. Oh, about two touchdowns. We'll be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. At this point, the defense has little choice but to sell out to stop the run on second and seven. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. This is a big pressure moment for the offense, too, because they've got the lead, but it's now third down on their own side of the field. They would love nothing it's more still than about to run this motherfucker. This, stay on the field, keep leading the clock, but the defense, I'd expect them to bring pressure here, trying to force the ball out of the QB's hands quickly. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Houston getting set, looking at first and ten. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. They'll put the tight end in motion. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. Delay, delay, delay. Open, open. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough okay, right. and slow. They were slow and they got the flat. Yeah. Now on second down. One back in the backfield and they'll give it to him. And they try to run inside and there is nowhere to go. Timeout is called. The clock stopped with 26 seconds left. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line. Finally gets some down stops. When it don't matter. Defense will use a timeout. 22 seconds remaining in the game. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes the catch and now looking for just a little bit of daylight. Offense getting set for first down. He'll start this drive firing. They get an up rush and it pays off the sack at the 20. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. One more play. Second down. Dropping back, it's Warner. A deep throw as the clock winds down. And the pass is incomplete, and the ball game is complete. It has been said that Better than last year, but we still fucking lost, though. This obstacle is now back to back losses. Back to back hills. Um, it's not the they're gonna fire my ass, bro. There's time for this Promise they are. to figure out what they're gonna do, how they're gonna finish the season strong. It's not over yet. Two bad weeks, flush it down the toilet, refocus the mechanism. He was the player of the game. I thought the quarterback was. It just needs to be about the fucking running back in a game right now. In all likelihood, 99.9% .9 chance the college football playoff now is not a possibility anymore. That's okay. Let's worry about winning a game. Let's go back. Let's watch the film. Let's get back to being who we are so we can get this ship right. And that's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another.